everybody. I have been to the local nursery to buy flowers. And I know you're probably planting mums this time of year, but in the tropical areas, the mums won't grow properly. So I'm planting vinca. I'm planting these around some palms that I have in pots. And I decided to get the white color. They come in a variety of colors. The one thing about vinca that I love is that they are deer repellent. Now the deer will eat them if they get hungry enough but they don't really like the smell of them so they try to avoid them and then I bought another plant that we planted on a lanai at another time about what maybe two months ago and it's doing beautifully so I, I brought one more they only had one so I grabbed it and so I'm going to unload the car and start planting these before they get too hot in the car because I think they could die if they got direct sunlight through the windows and the sun is behind a cloud right now so it won't take long before they would be withering so let's get these out of the car and plant them in the pots <music> Okay, I got the flowers planted. Everything's great. The deer have not eaten them yet. So this is a great thing. Maybe they won't. But since then, I went and had my nails done, and I used a color I've never used before. It is OPI's Falling for Milan. It is from the, and I wrote this down because I knew I'd forget it. It is from the Muse of Milan collection. And it's an autumn color. It's a copper taupe. And I don't think it's going to focus. Let's see. I'll take a shot of this and then put it up. And, show, and I'll also show you the way OPI has it shown. And you let me know what you think. It's a neutral color, which I love. You know, I usually wear either Bubble Bath or I will wear Let's Be Friends by OPI. And I will wear Bunny Bunny. So, because those colors you can wear with anything you are wearing and you can wear it day or night but I was trying to force myself into feeling like it is more autumn and so I went with a taupe color and I am not sure about this because it's very close to my skin tone and that may be the problem maybe I should have gone a bit darker but 
it's a change. I needed to change it up and I'm uh, not saying I won't go back to something else. But then again, we have the holiday seasons coming up and I may go with maybe a deep burgundy color and uh, get into the Christmas spirit. I can't believe we're talking about Christmas. Well, it's almost the end of the evening and I'm ready to read for a while because I do that most every evening. And this evening I'm trying to finish up and I probably won't finish it tonight because I'm only halfway finished with this large biography written by Walter Isaacson. It's Elon Musk's biography. I'm trying to keep the glare off of the cover. Walter Isaacson has also written the biography of Steve Jobs, which I read years ago, and it was fabulous because he writes in such detail. For instance, with Elon Musk, he begins in South Africa when Elon Musk was a child and explains why Elon Musk is the way he is as an adult. It begins in South Africa and then I know it's going to end with him acquiring Twitter, which is amazing to me because once this man makes a decision about something, he is relentless and he doesn't attack his projects one at a time. He attacks them all at once. I don't know how he is so focused and yet he is autistic. I don't think that truly came out to the public until this book and his autism which causes him many problems with his personal life also causes him to be or allows him to be so successful because he's able to completely compartmentalize his life and he can go from SpaceX to Twitter to Tesla and he is unstoppable and I love that I love the uh, idea of any of us being able to do anything we put our minds to and he certainly has proved this and so if you are interested in business or a sociological study of someone with this kind of fortitude then I suggest reading this book because I am so into the Elon Musk story right now that I, I just don't want to put it down. And then uh, what I'm doing is reading late at night because I tend to wake up in the middle of the night and actually it's a blessing to me that I do this. And I've done it all my life. I wake up in the middle of the night and I solve many, many problems at 2 a.m. But most of the time I'm reading. But I have found this light that I ordered and it is incredible. It, you're able to dim it and brighten it and flex it any way you want. This is just amazing. Look at this. You can turn it left, right, up, down. And how somebody can engineer something this small to be this effective. I'm trying to turn it off for you. This effective and this small is amazing. Perfect for travel. I can put this anywhere and travel with it. As a matter of fact, I bought two of these because I know I'm probably going to lose one, but hopefully not. And the really great thing about it is that it is rechargeable. You do not need batteries because there's nothing worse than being in a hotel room at two o'clock in the morning and the batteries go out on your reading light <laughs> or even at home trying to find your batteries at 2 a.m. when you can just recharge it. This is absolutely highly recommended by me so I hope you order one that, because you're really going to enjoy that and then my happiness for the week was getting this light I'm going to show you it's on behind me there is bamboo and what I have done is ordered a light that will give it an up light I'm going to walk over there and light it and show you this is a tiny remote control isn't that great? And the light is a puck light, and I'll put a picture of that. And it is also rechargeable. Anytime we don't have to use a battery or go buy a battery or find that specific size battery for our uh, items, then that is just fabulous to me because I can just charge it at home. Because, you know, I'm not one to get out and go and find these kind of things. If I can order it or recharge it at home, 
That is wonderful. And I think a lot of us are the same way. Well, this particular light that I'm going to show you has the ability to use different colors or project many different colors and lighten and darken. You can dim it down to a tiny bit of ambiance in the room or as bright as you want. So I'm going to walk over here because what I have done, and I'll take a video of it, I have hidden the light in the base of the bamboo. So you don't even see the light unless it's on. So I'm going to go by because you need to be pretty close to do it and turn it on. Can you see that? Maybe not. Maybe I should brighten it. And I'll put a video of that. Let me try to get the camera to focus back on me. Of course, that's going to make the bamboo blurry. This is a lifesaver too because I said it's rechargeable. So we love rechargeable items. If you want a bit of drama in your decorating, put up lights. Whether it's exterior up lights, interior up lights, it just gives the house a little bit of theater. Does that make sense? There's a tiny bit of theater involved in those up lights. So I think I'll go outside for a moment and watch the sunset and maybe water a few plants and turn the pool lights on and enjoy the evening. Wow, look at this sunset. Isn't that fabulous? Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. And I hope you enjoyed the vlog, but I don't know exactly what you would prefer unless you tell me. So let me know if you would like vlogs. Do you like fashion videos? Do you like cooking tutorials? I want to hear your comments. And I want to get some thumbs up on what you do like or let me know if something I've done you don't like because I'm trying to improve our channel. And the new year's coming up and i always make changes at the new year's and if you've been around for a while you know that so give me some input on these videos and i hope you have a fabulous week and you can always follow me on instagram bye